kidney stones can be devastating. I mean, severe pain. So for those of you that had a kidney stone or are interested in preventing a kidney stone, this video is for you. I've talked a lot about kidney stones, but I have not emphasized this one really important factor based on a recent uh, study that I just read, which is actually very fascinating. And it's including a very simple thing to your water, and that is called apple cider vinegar. Mostly apple cider vinegar is acetic acid. And so the question is, how does acetic acid influence or help you dissolve a stone? Okay. Now, when we're dealing with kidney stones, we're dealing with um, mainly what's called calcium oxalate stones. Okay. But there's other stones too. You can have a uric acid stone. You can have stones made from other things. But mostly it's uh, calcium oxalates. So I've done videos on oxalates. Oxalates are in a lot of different foods, um, especially in the ketogenic diet. They're high in almonds. They're high in spinach and chocolate and kiwis. And then you have another factor of calcium in the urine, which can be a genetic weakness, a genetic mutation for quite a few people who have kidney stones and or a tendency to get osteoporosis. They may have a genetic a uh, problem with their gene that they just uh, are releasing a lot of calcium in the urine. So typically this scenario of kidney stone, you have high oxalates, you have a high calcium, and you also have low citrates, okay, citrates. Now you might think citrus like lemons and limes, things like that, and you're correct, but your body also makes citrates, okay? And the great majority of the time, if you have a kidney stone, um, low citrates are part of the problem because one of the things that citrates do is they can act as a chelator with this calcium and bind to the calcium, uh, lessening the amount of free calcium to bind with the oxalates. So that's one of the things that citrates do. But citrates are involved in industry cleaning agents uh, because it can actually get rid of rust off of steel. It's used to help get rid of calcium carbonate. So it's a chelator. It can uh, bind with uh, another mineral. And you may have taken biology and learned about what's called the Krebs cycle, which is this biochemical pathway to help you make energy or ATP. Another name for that is called the citric acid cycle. So citrate or citric acid is um, very important in um, ensuring that you don't get kidney stones. So yes, you can start to consume uh, more lemons or limes. And that's what I recommend in the morning when you drink your water. And I usually drink a pretty big uh, glass. It's probably, I don't know, maybe 20 ounces, something like that. And I'll fill it up with water and I'll put lemon juice just because kidney stones do run in my family. And the other thing is just having more fluid, right? If you have more fluid, you can uh, dilute the urine because when you get a kidney stone, you have what's called a super saturated situation. So too concentrated. But if you're drinking at least 2.5 liters of water or other fluids, you can prevent the formation of kidney stone. And you can also add the lemon juice in there. I mean, if you have kidney stones or developing a stone, I mean, you should be consuming like a lot of lemon juice. I would say maybe, I don't know, four to six ounces a day. Um, and that can be either from actual lemons or lemon juice. But if you're just preventing it, you can just do, you know, a little bit of lemon, like the lemon juice from one lemon, or you can do like a tablespoon of lemon juice. You also want to add the apple cider vinegar in there because from a genetic level, and actually it's an epigenetic action, which is above your genes, okay? And I'm mainly talking about the genetic problem with this calcium situation in your urine. You have too much calcium in your urine. You can control that and curb that by adding apple cider vinegar. Because what that's going to do, it's going to cause the reabsorption, the significant reabsorption of citrates. So you won't lose them. You'll keep way more citrates in your urine, preventing the formation of the oxalates to the calcium. Now, there is also other things you can do too. You can add some additional citrates from either potassium citrate or magnesium citrate, which can be found in various electrolyte powders, and then drink one or two or even three of those a day. And you just may find out you no longer have a kidney stone.
Now, apple cider vinegar has so many purposes. If you haven't seen my recent apple cider vinegar video and how it can greatly boost your energy, I put that video up right here. Check it out.